Welcome to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Demon Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, the rather exquisite Lord Fussington. And today we will be heading through Bulletarian Palace 1-2. And killing the Bulletarian Palace, not Stonefang Tunnel, as the title would suggest. Um, and killing the Tower Knight. So head over to the Phalanx Archstone. That's a Strava of Bulletaria. And we'll also be killing a Red Dragon. So... If you're um, a magic user, bring your spells along. If you're strength based or dexterity based, bring a lot of arrows. Um, and a bow, we need a bow because without a bow it's fairly pointless. Um, I think I have nearly 600 arrows. I'm also over leveled um, because of uh, Shrine of Storms. Generally, you should do Shrine of Storms first, because it makes the rest of the game really not at all challenging. Um, if you like the challenge, go ahead. If you want to actually beat the game quickly, um, you know, beat the Phalanx and then head over to uh, the Tower Knight, which is typically what most players do. I mean, I used to do that at the start until I figured out that Crescent Falchion gives me a, a great edge. Um, it's I think it's upgraded to plus four now. I'm probably around level 65 or something like that. And um, purple flame shield is probably plus four. So you know, I'm very much over leveled. Um, so if you've just killed a phalanx and you probably don't have a bow and arrows, uh, that's fine. You don't have to kill the red dragon now, you can kill him later, and I do go through the path uh, that runs beneath, um, well, it's a tunnel beneath the actual outer pathway, uh, where the red dragon swoops down and burns it. Um, so I do go through there, but, you know, at the end I do kill the red dragon as well. So if you're going to kill the red dragon, bring a lot of arrows. If you're not, it's fine, there's, a, there's an alternative. Alright, so we've just killed some hoplites, we've seen the enemy before, you know, block with your spear, and uh, block with your spear, no, block the spear, and because you don't have a spear, unless you unless you do have a spear, which is fine, but the point is, block their spear, and then you hit them in their fleshy spot in the back, so that's, anyway, you can see how a hoplite works, it's not complicated, we just fought the phalanx, or I didn't just fight the phalanx, but you may have just fought the phalanx. So head over to um, this area over here. I'm a bit confused in this area. Um, and my commentary is confusing as well. But, you know, pull myself together by the end of the video. And um, there's a Strava. We're going to have to save him again because he's shit. And nearly everything. Um, spoiler alert, he does die. Yes. And then you can get the mausoleum key and go kill old King Doran. But that's much later. Old King Doran being one of the most difficult enemies in the game. Okay. So this is the red dragon. Oh, by the way, the red and blue dragons do disappear if you've accumulated pure white world tendency. Um, just a tip if you're a new game plus, I guess. I mean, you can get pure white world tendency in, um, you know, your first playthrough, it's just... You've got to kill a couple more bosses. I think you, you actually have to kill the Tower Knight and probably the Penetrator. And one, two, three, four, and... Yeah, and, and the Red Dragon, probably. No, maybe not. I don't know. I will make a video eventually on uh, pure white and black world tendencies and I'll get I'll run through everything but right now I'm trying to kill the red dragon well this is just a spot where you can shoot the red dragon and kill him from here if you'd like but it's not the best spot and I'm far too shit to be able to do it when he's flying at the speed the best spot is actually uh, the tower uh, nearest to us not that tower because that's further away the tower to our left well, along the pathway, it's just to the left of where I'm facing. Anyway, the point is, 
when he swoops down, right? Um, just when he swoops down, so now you want to start running, okay? So just sprint all the way to the first tower. Because he'll be right behind you. Boom. A fantastic roll. There's a bulletarian soldier to our left, so be prepared. Over leveled. And uh, another soldier. And there's two crossbowmen. Crescent moon grass. Greatest grass in the game. We've never seen anything better. Alright. So this is actually the best spot. I won't kill the red dragon now, but I'll show you. This is like a sneak peek to later. Um, you basically want to be right here and fire the arrows at him. Um, fire a bit better than that, obviously. So you want to get the first one when he's flying in, then you get the second one when he's flying up, so you will have to move your cursor, generally. I mean, there's probably a good spot, but I, I just move it because it's not that difficult. Uh, with spells, you're just going to have to line yourself. You're not going to be able to lock on, so you have to line yourself uh, properly and just aim it. Um, which is a little bit more difficult, but it's doable. I've done it with uh, uh, my magic user. So, if you're not going to kill the red dragon, or even if you will, you still want to go through here anyways. Um, for if, if for no other reason than saving a Strava. But the other... So you have to go this way first, because this is where Strava is. And a lot of cross... Uh, crossbowmen, so you have to be quite careful here. So that's right, use the walls, keep your shield up. Alright. So you can see how many there are. I mean, um, basically you should always have your shield up. Alright, and here's Ostrava. Saved again. Thanks to you. Yeah. And he gives us some dark moon grass. So now we head the other way, and that's, um, obviously it, we're still in the tunnel, and I'll go beneath the pathway that the dragon burns. Well, I guess right now we're under it as well, but that'll bring you to the second tower. So right through here. <coughs> um, what's through here? I think there's a dredgling, a crossbowman. Dredgling, crossbowmen, and um, dogs. So the dogs are quite difficult when you're at a low level. Um, mainly because they're it's a pack of dogs. And it's easy to pull five of I think they're all, I think there's five. There might be six. Um, but it's easy to pull several of them at once. If you have a crossbow, a bow, spells you can pull one at a time, or maybe two at a time actually. Um, if you're over leveled, you don't really have to worry about anything. Obviously, because yeah, that's the thing about being over leveled. Everything's easy. So I obviously, as you can tell, because I'm quite hesitant here, I don't know where the dogs are. But I think they're right past this, uh, right up there. So that's one, two, and still two, three, four, and five. So there's five dogs. I'm actually really good at counting, so uh, I do watch a lot of Sesame Street, and that's where I've learned how to count. 
and um, there's a crossbowman. You just saw the bolt go into the gate. So stab him in the head and then head through here because there is a merchant. The merchant sells all right armor. Um, actually, as an early, because he's one of, yeah, he actually sells pretty good stuff if you're, if you've just started out. Um, I mean, there's a claymore. Claymore is pretty good weapon, but pretty good. I mean, fairly good. Not one of my favorites, to be honest. But you know, and some okay armor and stuff. But it's it is fairly expensive. Actually, the claymore is only six thousand souls, so you know you could you could make the investment depending on uh, how much you need it. Okay, so you can see where the dragon just burnt that pathway, and obviously we've traveled beneath it to avoid the flames. So there's a com there's a compound bow, I think. Um, so actually, you could theoretically, but you won't have enough arrows um, unless you brought many with you. Uh, but you could use that, and uh, assuming you meet the requirements, and uh, kill the red dragon. Again, doing Shrine of Storms before, just going through all of Shrine of Storms before uh, Volatarian Palace 1-2 and every other place. So Volatarian Palace 1-1 and then going through Shrine of Storms makes everything quite a lot easier. Obviously you'd go through Stonefang actually after you go through 4-1. Uh, like So usually you'd have to, like from here, so the dragon would swoop down, burn a large portion of the uh, path. So you'd have to run pretty much all the way to the first enemy at the end. So you chase after the red dragon after he did it, after he uh, burned the pathway. And then um, I think the encounter is against a couple of crossbowmen and a blue-eyed knight. So it's a bit of a difficult spot and it's easy to die in that area especially if you're a low level um, killing the red dragon is makes everything much easier because you have a lot more room to maneuver uh, dodge the crossbowmen and uh, deal with the blue eyed knight but if you can't kill the red dragon at your, that's absolutely fine it is and you know it is manageable it's just you're gonna have to be a little bit crafty basically use the carriage there's a carriage there you hide behind a carriage Okay, so uh, I think I fast forwarded this area. I think I got a couple. Fast forwarded it to the end because it does take a little bit of time. Depending on your level, it'll either go quickly or slowly, um, and depending on your aim, of course. So basically, when he's flying in, you shoot one, and then when he flies up, you can shoot the other spells you're gonna have to sort of align yourself properly so when he's just swooping in you have to make that shot um, because you're not gonna be targeting him uh, it takes a couple of oh yeah and obviously instead of arrows you would have wanted to bring uh, quite a lot of fresh spice um, or old spice so so this is fast forwarded now, you can see how the arrows jumped. And uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Alright, there you go. Uh, I don't think you can make anything from the... I think it's only consumable with the soul. And um, you know, if it isn't, you can leave a comment and you know, below. That's that's fine. I do read the comments. Sometimes I respond. It does take me quite a bit of time to respond to comments, but that's mainly because um, I'm really lazy. But I do read them all. Yeah, you know, and I appreciate the comments absolutely, and the views and the likes. So uh, thanks for all. Anyway, let's just let's just continue the video, right? It is a walkthrough. You know, not a not an acceptance speech. So head head well, obviously I'm taking 
I'm consuming the crescent moon grass because it is fantastic grass. So head down here, and uh, now you can pick up all the items, obviously, because the dragon's dead. He does not respawn, which is really good news because, uh, you know, that's about 10 minutes that you don't have to waste killing him every time. Although you would accumulate quite a lot of souls. No, actually not even that much. I think I only got like 7,000, eh? So it's a bit shit. Well, I got a soul as well. Anyway, it's not really important. The point is the red dragon is dead. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Um. Oh, right, because I'm over encumbered. Or overburdened, depending on which game you're playing. So, slash the horse again because, uh, you know, it's not dead enough. So usually you'd have to have chased the dragon, you know, he'll swoop in, then you chase him all the way up here. Watch, see at the top there's two crossbowmen? Well, they've got greater ha aim apparently because it fucking locks onto you. And you'd, you'd have to get behind that carriage, right? You'd have to sprint up to that carriage and then uh, take these guys out. And then you'd be, you'd also be safe from the red dragon. Probably a little bit before that, but it's best to just get to the carriage. And you've got to take out those crossbowmen very quickly because the blue-eyed knight will descend on you. Just keep your shield up; you'll kill them um, easily. If you don't have a shield, um, you know. Hopefully, you have some really good spells and shit, or maybe you can dodge very well. If you can dodge very well, you should be fine. Crossbowmen are. I mean, everyone's quite predictable, so. Alright, head up here. There's a crystal gecko. Very good, large sharp snow. And, um. A couple more items, and those two crossbowmen, and then it's the boss, who is the Tower Knight. Um, who isn't that difficult? Of course it does depend on your level and, you know, all that, the usual. But, um, if you're overleveled, it's easy. Shrine of Storms is a great place to start. It's, I mean, it's a bit challenging at the start of it, but afterwards it makes the rest of the game very simple. So the next video will be... Um, the Tower Knight of Bulletarian Palace 1-2. I've been Lord Fussington, and thanks for watching.